you want me to tell you some facts about deer antler? It is like truly amazing. You know what I mean? I care so much about the deer. You know, I I shoot them, I kill them with a shotgun, but I really care about the deer because I make sure that the deer antler fur, the velvet, just falls off the deer because I wouldn't want to see those deer hurt in any way, even though I go shooting on the weekend deer. That doesn't make sense, does it? Glad that you eat a low carbohydrate diet, because if you ate enough carbohydrates, you'd be able to see the hypocrisy <laughs> in my claims. And that wouldn't be very fun for my sales. <laughs> or my guru, Robin Hood, identity. I spin so much crap about Latin names and spiritual woo-woo-woo that nobody will question what I know. Because I, like, I sound like I know it all. But in reality, <laughs> I'm just overweight. I hate animals. I'm just trying to muscle my way in on the raw, vegan marketplace. You know what I mean? So, I mean, don't question what I do. Because if you question it, I'll call you a judgmental loser. So just follow what I say, buy my products that come your way, and that's all I gotta say. Even though I'm only 40 years old, I'm a longevity expert. Highly, highly qualified for the topic of longevity. The herbs that you can take, we buy from China <laughs> at ridiculously cheap prices, and we sell them at ridiculously mocked up inflation ridiculously stupid people that can't tell the difference between marketing and genuine information. <laughs> Good thing that people have paved the way for low carbohydrate diets, because I'll tell you what, that's what they did in the detention camps. They fed people low carbohydrate so they were easily influenced and didn't question anything. They just, they believe the lies they get told and they buy the products they get sold. And that's what it's about. <laughs> so if you come to my talks, make sure you're stoned half drunk on my mead recipe or so fatted out from the raw cream and the the meats that you can't question anything I say cause you know I don't want people questioning the only questions I want is how can I buy more of your crazy products that's the only questions I want another question is how come those vegans are so judgmental that's the only question I want you to know, ask in my audience otherwise I'm gonna give you some Latin names I'm going to KO you with Latin names of different herbs in the main area. You know what I'm saying? Wow, man. I'm off my dial. Oh, those Chinese herbs? I got to be wired, man. I ain't no redneck with tattoos and a gun. I know Latin names. Don't you call me a redneck with tattoos and a fat gut. I know Latin names, man. Don't you kill me about Latin names. I know the names of uh, Astragalus, Chagger, Rishi Mushroom. You know, rednecks don't know what Rishi Mushrooms are, man. You know what I mean? I ain't no redneck. I'm like highly intelligent, spiritual, indigenous nutritionist, man. You know? I ain't no mouth-breathing redneck. I'm sophisticated. I'm loving. I'm compassionate, I'm kind to animals, and I really care about the environment, and I go hunting with my mates, and we drink beer and mead afterwards. I don't appreciate the remarks of the vegans. They're aggressive, they're violent, and I'm not. I'm compassionate. I embody peace. Love and respect for all living animals, except for Sunday hunting days. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm against factory farming because it's like a, a prison camp. You know, it's like those World War II prison camps. It's not right, you know. You gotta go hunting, because hunting's, it's more peaceful. It's like a drive-by shooting, you know. The person's living happy in the lounge room, they're bang! Pop, pop, pop! They're down, you know what I mean? The deer is walking with its mom, and then bang, pop, 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 it's down. So it's not cruel, you know, it's just pop, yeah, popping all the time, man. You know, I listen to gangster rap, I go hunting, I ain't no mouth-breathing redneck, so please don't confuse me with that, because it's totally different, you know what I mean? It's totally different, I mean, you know, shotguns and semi-automatic weapons and automatic weapons and telescopes and camouflage clothing, man, it's... It's not like Iraq. It's not like Vietnam War or nothing, man. It's like 
Those deer, they're the enemy. We need to kill them. You know what I mean? The moose. The moose looks, looks, the moose got attitude, man. Moose got ego. A lot of them raccoons, man. You got to take them out. So I'm all about peace and loving, nurturing. But when I get my semi-automatic in my hands, oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah, that feels good. So again, factory farming is like prison camp. I'm not in the factory farming, but I'm in the drive-by shooting. So I repeat, I am not a mouth-breathing redneck, okay? I am very knowledgeable on the subject of indigenous, traditional nutrition and spirituality, you know? Mouth-breathing redneck, I am not. So if you have any questions, please ask them now. Doug Graham? What about Doug Graham just put up a new one? Doug Graham is fitness stunts on YouTube. Well, Doug, that's not true. I saw that video. I saw that video. That is not true. That is a hologram. Nobody can eat that many bananas. You, you, you will, you will, uh, something will happen to you. I don't know exactly. I can't say it scientifically, but I just, I can't sell bananas. I mean, you don't make much money promoting bananas. You know, you just sell little canisters of multi-level marketing, deer placental colostrum, things like that. You know, Alexas, little spiritual woo-woo things. You know, people want that. People want to buy comforters. They don't want to hear real solutions. Are you crazy? <laughs> There's no money in solutions. People want to buy comforters. And that's what I do. I'm a comforter. And uh, I give people good things about their bad habits. I tell people good things about their bad habits and it's very profitable. So Doug Graham, that video is a, is a hologram. It's a hologram. It's not true. It's like the crop circles, man. Or whatever, it's just some hologram. Doug Graham doesn't even exist, you know? He doesn't exist. He's not a real person. You look up the, ring up the FBI. Doug Graham, man, it's, it doesn't exist. So uh, next question, the China study. The China study. The China study's a joke. You know what I mean? The China study's a joke. I debunked the China study on my blog. I'm a blogger, and I debunked the China study. A 27-year study, the world's most comprehensive nutritional study ever done, and I debunked it on my blog. One little blog like this, it took me half an hour. I wrote it at the end of an ayahuasca ceremony. Debunked. The China study debunked. All those collaborative studies is not true, you know? People are dying from deficiencies in cholesterol and saturated fat. Yes, they need more saturated fat. Like Dr. Atkins, you know, he, he didn't die from a heart attack. I mean, that's what the autopsy said, and he fell over and hit his head and had a heart attack, but he actually, he was obese, but he was obese because the, the oxygen in the autopsy room bloated out his body. He was normally like uh, 180 pounds. Dr. Atkins was actually an elite athlete. He was like a fat burner metabolism. He's like a, you know, it, it, he didn't have a big stomach. That was like a, a just a fuel tank, like a furnace for extreme athletic pursuits. I mean, Dr. Atkins was rumored to be the next Lance Armstrong at 60. I mean, that man was super fit. We are talking like a, a sculpted individual. He was not fat. That was, I was just a... That was like another hologram put out by the soy industry to make Dr. Atkins look obese, but he wasn't. He was actually extremely lean and rugged man. I'm not fat. I mean, that's just, the, they say the camera puts on 30 pounds. You know, I'm really trim, but when you see me on YouTube, I look a bit fatter. But no, it's not true. I'm not fat. I don't have a little gut. No, 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 that's not true. No, <laughs> it's not true at all. It's just the camera puts on the pounds, man. You know what I mean? So I'm really trim. And I'm very fit. I can actually, I can actually run to the letterbox. You know, I'm, I'm pretty fast. I'm pretty fit. You know, I can do like a push up. I can do like a chin up. I can, I can get a bottle of organic homebrew mead, and crack the lid off in my mouth. That's what we're talking about. The strength. I have indigenous strength in my jaw. I can crack open the lid of some homebrew. Now that is what we are talking about. You know, Doug Graham, the hologram people, they don't exist. The China study, I debunked it. Many bloggers have debunked the China study. You know what I mean? Bloggers, we, us bloggers do anything now. Uh, you got to put things in perspective. You know, you can't eat too much fruit. You know, fruit's bad. I mean, you don't want fruit forests in the world. 
You want total deforestation, grass-fed animals walking around. You do not want the fruit, man. The fruit is fruit is bad for business. It's you know, fruit is like uh, you have trees in the trees, you have birds in the trees, and you have all the bird poo, and it's all messy. You know, you gotta get the birds, and you. Poof. The only thing fruit trees are good for is having homes for birds and possums and skunks, and then you can go shooting because the fruit forests attract a lot of animals, and it makes it good for hunting grounds. So you know, it's, it's you want grass-fed animals. You know, like you know, you. I mean, sure, like we never had chickens. In history, we never had cows in history. We never had bananas either, but it's all about Ormus. Ormus. Ormus is what we are talking about. You understand? I mean, Sally Fallon, people say she's fat, but she's not fat. You know, Dr. Kendrick, he's not fat. I mean, these people are robust. It's the Ormus from the getting from the cow's meat, the bison meat. The Ormus is transmutating and becoming like a... The Ormus is transmutating into their flesh and it's... They're not fat, they're robust. I mean, all these people, I mean... You know, like, you, I'm not fat, I'm robust. You know, I'm... I, I could outrun Durnrider. I mean, I could. I mean, I, I, I will one day. I mean, you know, I could outrun him. I could outrun all those guys. Tim Van Orden, Michael Arnstein, Carl Lewis is a vegan. No, it's, it's, it's not true as well. It's, he's a hologram. Mike Tyson's a vegan. Mac Danzig's a vegan. He's a USC champion. But again, it's not true. It's holograms, you know? All put out by the soy industry, man. It's a big conspiracy, you know? The soy industry is a lot of money. And it's all the soy and banana industry, man. They've got a lot to answer for. It's just, they put out the holograms. Technology these days. Nanobacteria. That's what Doug Graham is. That's what 30 bananas a day people are. They're nanobacteria. They get in all the YouTube channels and spam it and put in keywords and they, you know, go crazy things. They're nanobacteria. You know, raw water. Now, that's another subject because raw food's extreme, but raw water, you're not raw if you don't drink raw water. But if you're a raw fooder, you're an extremist. You're like an idealist. But raw water, that's really good. <laughs> Because I can sell it at a thousand dollars a case, man. So you don't want to be too extreme. Because if you're a raw fooder, you're just a white belt. I'm like black black belt third dan. You know what I mean? And my stomach proves that. I've got so much backed up colon that my little distended stomach is an example of the ormus density. It's not actually it's not backed up colon. It's ormus density. So if the bigger your stomach is, the more ormus you have. Yeah, I and mean, you know, like, you, there's a herb, there's an adaptogenic herb called Chuchu Hawasi. And it spells, it sounds like spiritual woo woo bullshit. But honestly, honestly, if you sign up to my multi level marketing affiliate link, I will give you the discount Valentine's Day special for Chuchu Hawasi. It's an adaptogenic herb from the South American system. And it's a strategy you can use to eliminate fungal issues. And I know you don't eat much f sweet fruit, so how on earth would you have fungal issues? I don't know. You know, I just sell the herbs, you know. I don't really know. I talk about the spirit of the plants, and I embody the spirit of the plant herb I'm working with. But really, that's just it's sales BS, man. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Spirits of herbs? I mean, I sound like Terrence McKenna. You know what I mean? I had too many magic mushrooms, and now I own the spirit of the herb. But it's more multi-level marketing hype. But I, I dress like Robin Hood. You know, people ask me where I shop. I shop at the Robin Hood costume clearance store. It's right next door to Longevity Warehouse. Very good discounts on Robin Hood outfits. I've actually, it's in the wash today, so I, excuse me for not having a strategy that balances out the spirit of my clothing. Sorry. So you, as long as you get your medicinal herbal infusion concoction elixir, you'll be okay. So Duran Rider gives me crap for being like a David Wolf copy, but you know what I mean? It's like, I don't dress like David Wolf. Like, I don't wear ponchos and Robin Hood outfits. Well, I do, but it's... It's not from the same shop, honest. You know, it's like, I tell you a story. Before I was talking about Choo Choo Hawassi, well, one day I was in 
Ecuador at the Machu Picchu tourist shop, and I I was coming down after Chuchu Hawasi Ayahuasca Peyote San Pedro, uh, the surgic acid diethylamide trip, and I just had this transmutation of my chakra balancing in the spirit of the energy of the Machu Picchu tribe, and I saw Terence McKenna in like the shadow of the cloud, and David Wolf was in the other one. So I lined everything up. So I balanced everything up in the left heart of the center, and I just embodied David Wolf into my heart, and Terence McKenna into my mind, and just a bit of both into my vocabulary. I had like a thesaurus upload, spiritually connecting. So that is a strategy. If you want the spirit of the plants and become a multi-level marketing guru selling colostrum and deer antler, so that is why I talk like David Wolf. I am part David Wolfetarian. I'm a Wolfetarian. You know what I mean? Half McKenna, McKennanarianism and Wolfetarianism. Just in the alignment. You're not too much of each. You're balance. We want the balance. Yeah? Balance strategies. Yeah? You know what I mean? Intense vocabulary with indigenous nutrition. Chuchu Hawasi. Powder Echo. Cat's Claw. Astragulus, ants in your pants, rishi mushroom, you know what I mean? The real, the real deal stuff. You can buy it cheap from third world countries, you bring it to the North American market, bam! That's your profit margin. You don't want to have no local stuff. You get stuff locally like spring water. <laughs> Who's going to realistically go out and get spring water? But what you do is you hype it up and then you sell it. Create the demand, meet it with supply. Yeah! So I sell you raw water. I bring raw water to the market because raw food is scheduled, uh, extreme. But it's because they're not having raw water. So I don't promote raw food, but I promote raw water. Why? Because the raw market is literally a billion dollar industry in 2011. And I want to muscle my way in on that. Because I'd be stupid not to. Someone said, hey, you talk a lot. But you don't say much. I don't know what to say to that. Latin names of various herbs, anyone? Choo Choo Hawasi, Astragalus, Vichy, Chogger? Chogger? Anyone for Chogger? So I've been out hunting. I got myself a local product. It's a Cocker Spaniel. Hey, so hold still, you hunting dog. I got myself a Cocker Spaniel. And it's got a little column on here. So I can... I can uh, cook it up with the leather, because leather is it's a rough one. I'm pretty strong, so I can hold the Cocker Spaniel. We got to pat him so they don't bite you. Whoa, okay, you go down there now. I'll hunt you later on, you doggy. I'm an experienced hunter in the wild. You wouldn't normally let your prey get away, but I'm indigenously, nutritionally qualified to go and hunt that Cocker Spaniel next door. And what I do, I get a lot of dogma and from the vegan Nazis, so what I do is I... I put on a metal bowl, and they can't read my thoughts because the vegan Nazis, I have nightmares about them. They're permeating my Facebook page. They're spamming my YouTube. They're using my keywords in Google searches, and they're really pissing me off. So I'm using a new strategy, a titanium salad bowl. I should know it's not. It's like a special was from NASA and the CIB, FBI, to prevent conspiracy theorists, vegan Nazis from permeating my thoughts and spamming on the internet. So, I'm selling these for $699 and uh, check out my website for more details. In case you're getting any more vegan Nazis. They're so judgmental, they piss me off. I want to go hunting in peace. I want to go hunting in peace, if you know what I mean. I don't want vegan Nazis telling me what to do. If the animals didn't want to be killed, they'd say something about it. They don't, they're cool with it. And for optimum heart health, you need a diet rich in cholesterol and saturated fats. Rich. You know, because the reason why over 500,000 U.S. citizens have had heart attacks recently, in the last year, the reason why they've had heart attacks in 2010 is that they've totally, you know, under deficient in cholesterol. You know what I mean? That's why people are having heart attacks, because they're deficient in cholesterol. They need to have more cholesterol. 
I mean, in the U.S., we have a chronic cholesterol deficiency. We need to have more cholesterol. That's what we need. We need more cholesterol. Cholesterol for breakfast, cholesterol for lunch, cholesterol for dinner, cholesterol and saturated fats for snacks in between. Carbohydrates, the enemy, they make you fat. You need a lot of cholesterol. The body is a cholesterol and saturated fat burner. Every cell in the body runs on cholesterol. And gl uh, glucose, no, no, no glucose, that's wrong, that's, that's, uh, that's not true at all. Every cell in the body runs on glucose is not true. It's, I mean, it's recorded in medical journals, but it's not true. I mean, I read it on a blog somewhere, you know, like, like the body just needs fat and the ketones are good for the brain. And I, I, I educate myself on blogs because, you know, the China study and all these doctors talking about glucose and stuff like that, it's not true. I mean, Dr. Neil Barnard reversing diabetes. It's not true. It's like holograms from the banana industry, man. It's holograms from the, the tofu industry. The organic tofu industry is conspiring against you. Do not believe them. They're out to harm you with their tofu burgers and organic Ecuadorian bananas grown with, I don't know, like rock dust, man. It's not good. It's not very jing. You won't get your jing with bananas. You need other things for jing, you know? So... Cholesterol and saturated fat should be the basis of the diet, and you make bone broths. Bone broths. Yay for bone broths, you know what I mean? Yay for haggis. Yay for stuffed sparrows and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cholesterol and saturated fat make up the strategy for optimum indigenous nutrition. Yes. Now you understand. Go to McDonald's and eat a burger because burgers actually local. Take off the bun so you get the low carbohydrate. Eat the lettuce and the, put a sprinkle it with some Alexa powder from my website and just have the the beef burger because it's local. It's from Wyoming, you know. It's local, Illinois. It's a uh, it's okay, you know what I mean. It's local. It's, it's I mean in Australia most of the Big Mac's actually grass-fed, so I can't wait to come down under and see all you crazy Aussies and eat some Angus grass-fed Big Macs with no buns. Awesome. Totally. Have the best day ever. Whoops, that's a Dave Wolf saying. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.